It's Mr. Manahan McGann, and it's a good broad of a fart the fella Padraig. So, for the last year, I've been roaming the coastline of Donegal, Mayo, and Galway, seeking out sea terms and coastal words from fishermen and folklorists for a project called Sea Tamagotchi as part of Galway 2020. Now, I asked the fishermen for words that brought the sea and the shoreline alive for them. And I've been sharing these words on Twitter, on Instagram, and on my website, moncom.com. But some of the recordings I've made into little films with music by Claire Sands and Brio Moglin, and those are what I want to share with you here. Tus nomid lahachian o Pat Murphy o lahinish on vitet e conte muio. Tuam. All right, tuam. Tuam. And it's the only time it's used for it the is, noise yeah. of the sea. It is, yeah. Tuam. As opposed to glor, no turn, no... Turn. Yeah, well, turn then is something that could be made physically or could be man-made or, you know, yeah. you could make noise. Noise is always something that's associated, I suppose, with man's behaviour and making noise. Because nature, I suppose, makes natural sounds, creating natural sounds, if you listen to it. Sound created by nature is always referred to as tuam. do you? No, do you? Oh, right, the place of the sand dunes. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? How can we ever get to grips with the myriad place names along the coastline? And where do they all come from? I asked John Twin of Ackle where he got his great store. Oh, well, I got those from, they, they were common to my grandfather and everybody, everybody who was on the hills. See, my, my grandfather was a shepherd and we kept sheep on the hills and then cattle as well. So wherever the cattle were, they, they, they were in certain places. So that's why all these these place names. Nobody, there's no English name for them. There's every little look on in all of them. The place names are there. I noticed a place name which I thought had the word meal moor in it. Meal moor means a whale. And John Twain agreed. Meal more than Meal more, sha agus and fire doctor Shinner no no the no the vincha got him or a tonish. Been she cussel tagan and tagan and adikish cha agus on shin Sus Cusul Meal more Shaju Shine. He tells me the name Ochin Veal Vor, the little cove of the whale, comes from a hole in the rock where water spurts out, just like a whale's blowhole. 
So oh. if you have like a, what is it, a cove called the cove of the of the of the, the whale, of the whale. Yeah. People will just think a dead whale went into it or something. But to know that it's actually to oh, do no, with, it's absolutely, you wouldn't know except to, uh, it's actually to do. You won't see it on a calm day, mm. but when it's rough like that, you'll see this whoosh. the spurt of the water yeah, up and out, like up. like from a whale's. Back yeah, around. exactly. Yes, that's it. Glow. It sounds very glow. You can hear the hill go rusha. Hill has been just got a got a turn, got a turn, got a turn tally, not turn dini. You are you got a dini go, but you are you are not turn carly. No, it's hill has got motorway beyond. Now it means glow more. You are you see me. So you think glow is this can be used for the sound of the sea when it sounds like a yeah. sound from. Yeah, you're, you're, from human. you're comparing it with human sounds. The sounds made by humans right. uh, at work or creating sound or making noise. Humans make noise and the sounds they create. So you'd imagine that the sea was mimicking this in anger, awaiting the change in weather. And so that glow, that sound, that noise coming from the sea could be a symbol of changing weather. That's right. It was a warning for fishermen. It's amazing how a single word can give insight into so much. A way of life, a, a mindset, a fishing practice, or a weather system, or a navigational method, or even just the emotional aspect of living along the coastline. Like the loss of even one of these words wipes out something precious, an insight or hard-won knowledge that's then gone forever. Like take these two words for farige fiona, for wild seas, from John Valvajako Kunila in Lettermalen and from Michal Scheuge er Inish Moor. Barbon Evari Nierskud. Kalamogus Mude er Tibet Muswun. Ogus and Shinna Tashi Fian Fian Tabar Bon Evari Nierskud. Alberation Tabar Bon Evari Nierskud. Whoa! I said so. In Vino Faisin or Sperna? Well, camp when it's camp, uh, we say Tanarik and Oskuna, Achenshin. If it's wild and white caps on the sea, we would say Tabar Bon Ergari in the Eskida. That's white wave on on the fisherman's garden. Nice. That's lovely. Well, the things are coming back to me. Bogowarg, and it's curry Bogowarg. He had big swell in the sea. Bogowarg, we call that. Bog, that was he. Bog was. Look, she a bugger. Yeah, yeah. well, a bugger sounds like something shaved. Uh, I know. But she a bugger, it's like a glue shot. Yeah, a glue shot. A bugger nish, that she a bugger woman. It's moving away from bugger, the yeah, sea. Yeah, bugger more to Yeah. And it's curry more to it depends where it is. And curry is just movement, I suppose. Movement is where it's definitely the same thing. But they'd all oh. roughly be, yeah, sort of a churned, not a calm sea. Oh, yeah, none to me, calm. I know. Fargi Hewn is the only camp scene. Is that right? Yeah. Cunidus, no Fargi Hewn, Cunidus. What's Cunidus? Same thing as Fargi Hewn. It's like Hewn Camp. Yeah, yeah, Cunidus. Vishana Hewnidus. No Vishana Khalam. Oh yeah. Khalam Leddy, they say here, I don't know where Led. <laughs> really camp day, we'd say Tashana Khalam Leddy. Ah, brilliant. But I don't know where the word Leddy I know. It's like Boyo or something, it's okay. Something must be something like that or something.
Charum Lady. We shall have Charum Lady. Charum Lady, my dear. Charum can see. No, we in Jara, Jamai can we for contract of one? We in Ari, I mean the port. I mean the port. So for a very smooth sea, how would you say it goes? It's as level as a pit, as to how you can make it. And it's a lag and ground called Level La Porte. Level La Porte, Level La Porte, yeah. It's as level as a pit, as to how you can make it. I know. And the other one is Car and Laddie. Car and Laddie. And Laddie is just a thing of affection, isn't it? Yeah, it's a marshal, good deal, good deal. Car and Ken. Car and Boyle, sir. Good deal, good deal. It's not often it is in the car of the land. No, 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 no. Bruff, B-R-U-T-H, but here you say bruff. Huh. It's like... S R U T H. Shruff. Narira, shruff. Oh, hi, shruff. Shruffle, the shruffle. S R U T H A L L. Shin Awani Nagan. Yeah, but she had a wheel. Over the shruffle. Shruffle, great. The shruffle. Oh, yeah. Shruff. I guess Shin Bruff. B R U T H. No, sorry. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, ha, bruff. The couple born. Well, no, niha. Ach, dear, I'm not to get dug in the town. Aren't you? Aren't you will tan it on? Will you? Sure. I just do the hard. I just ta ta. Aren't you? Chin. Carig a bruffa more. Hmm. Carig a bruffa more. Of the big swell. Of the big of the big surge. Surge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carig a bruffa more. These words were created by a people who depended for their survival on the natural resources of their surroundings. So they have a profundity, an intensity to them that is rare now. Like I collected most of these words in just a few spots in, in Donegal and Mayo and in Galway, but in truth, every square inch of our coastline has an equally rich word lore connected to it. We have been the tart of the crow in the belly. That is uh, the white wash at the bow of the boat. Crow. The crow. As in what's the crow? As you say, knav. Oh yeah, yeah. Knav, knav. in the bell. It's like a dog with a yeah. Yeah, you can just see the yeah. white set on my Koi here is a wind, especially a favourable wind. Now, down where you're going, there's a place called Tupper Nakora, huh. the well of the fair wind. And what they did there was, when the men were at the sea, and the wind, wind dropped, and the women were getting weep at all, uh, worried, they'd go to the well, it's just above the pier in Killen, down Killen. Mm -hmm. And went down there, and what they did, they, they start to bail the water out of the well. And this was to, I think, it's, I think it's in keeping with the science behind it, because you're lowering the, lowering the pressure ashore, you know, and Whoa. the wind will blow in. To, to protect their fishermen out on the sea? No, to give them a fair wind home. Yeah. 
The name of the well in Rin the Kelly near Tillon was said to have been drained by wind to conjure up a fair wind home for local seamen. William they call here, that's the way. The Spanish used to call Coolum Head, the gates of hell. They never saw any place on the west of Ireland as, as rough and with all the, these big breakers. And we have names for all the breakers. We have like Mwima Taur, Mbolig, Mbolig. We have Mullan Sarbis, Mwima Waur, Mwima Lachyarag, Mokwane, and Mwima Yiram. There used to be some of the breakers named after the people. We would have the Tanny Moor, we would have the Dawsucht, we would have lots of names on them. But the only problem is we are not using these names anymore and we are, well, I'm nearly the oldest now that's surviving of the old fishermen around here. And I never thought, I, well, I didn't spoke about this way for the last 30 years, you could say. And I'm losing some of it. <laughs> I'm losing some of it. When we used to go out fishing, we used to go to the rocks, Teagle Rock, and maybe there'd be tin boats in there and everybody would have his own fire and everybody would put down tea on a saucepan and a saucepan of fish to eat and new potatoes and so on. And then you, when you'd be young, you'd be listening to these, talking about these memes or these waves and that's how you will learn. You have to learn from the old generation. Hi and Rai on a Mwila. Mwila on Shin Kari, Hagen's new, well, Urdenthi Tagachi go bar na Farage, you can get to a bit of fin, fin, finishke, you can get to. Oh, yeah, so it's a. Urdenthi, I know. Urdenthi, I know. Binchi, 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 was kin, was kin na Farage, you know. Sure. Mwila. Oh, need to go to Mwail. No, 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 Mwail. Oh, yeah, Mwail. So Mwail or Mwailon? Mwailon, yeah. It's a rock that's mostly submerged by the sea. Yes, right. and then you have to know what it is. You could uh, with the boat, you see, yeah, yeah. or you're up on top of it. High and dry on a Mwailon. <laughs> that's, that's a normal expression. It's like John Vaba Jack says there, we have to learn from the old generation. The wise men, mostly men at least, that I talked to were all keen to share their knowledge with me. Now, some of them said that they hadn't thought about these words for 40 or 50 years. But who knows, we might actually need the insights that they have into our coastline sometime soon. This ocean has always sustained us and it can again. It means it means tiny more on because snow and an arc when there's a big tide. There's, there's a lot of if there's a lot of seaweed floating about. If the if we'd say a bit of wind comes out again, it blows it in on the rocks and we call on the shore and we call that rukhawach. And they used it for a, for a, a fertilizer. So it's just the, the, the rotten seaweed that's yeah. put up in winter. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good idea. Rukhawach. I was telling you, it's a family yard, a Christian dish. 
Right. So raw was this piece sticking out, a bit of rock sticking out. It's kind of a yeah. So it wouldn't be a rock. It'd be it'd be peat land as well, you know. All right. That'd be like raw and grapple, where. Green area, it's over there on Minnow Cliffs uh-huh. where horses would graze, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I was to watch it. My own chin, Ron a quarter. He can care of this quarter, huh? Ron a quarter. Yeah. I was Ron Shin and Rod. Watch. I got more math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go by, you know. Take him. Yeah, yeah, Ron. A major, major good news one to go. It's cool, cool, yeah, it's cool. Sure. Ah, rolls, yeah. Starting the, yeah, they're large, jagged rocks. They can be seen either sticking out of the side of a rock or under the ocean. And they're large stacks of very sharp rocks that come up and it's known as a stir. Or stir on the more than one, you know? That's interesting because in the Isle of Skye, you know, there's this stir, the Isle of Stur, the rock of stir, this yeah. peaking stone. Peaking. And um, stir, it's actually a Viking word for a rock peak. A rock. Uh, peak. A peak, yeah. yeah. Pe- uh, I don't know his yeah. connection. But it doesn't surprise me, you know, it doesn't surprise me. When you look at, look, we've been traveling amongst these islands for a long time. There are, Pottery found in the in the Neolithic burial site on in a shear that was from Scotland, mm. or akin to the Scottish one, the design-wise and everything. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking at the Neolithic. It was the stories about the otherworldly aspect of the sea that most impacted me. Like, this great force of nature is so full of mystery and the unknown, as is clear from the story that Emono Curin told me about what happened to his grandfather. This is a story that happened about 120 years ago, when Owen's grandfather was young. <laughs> I much better They were out catching a rake of cod off Malin Head. Yeah, 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 the Shinjuru Vian got on bad luck to you, the Yesk. I guess I should be not a giddy art. There were seven of them in a boat laden down with cod when the sea suddenly turned nasty and they turned back towards Malin Head. The year was a big. I guess Dutch on Tommy. She never had a wish keeper at the lot. Dutch like a Marty could done Yesk a home last a lot. But they worried they mightn't make it before the storm came. 
The skipper ordered them to start throwing the fish overboard. And there was a fair wind pushing them home, but they still worried. But then the man at the front of the boat looked out and he saw a woman in the water holding, she was swimming, holding the bow of the boat and pulling it forward through the waves so that it arose above the water. And she kept on pulling until they got safely home. Now this was common knowledge back then, Owen tells me. For there are many things that happen at sea that can't be explained. Uignis na tra, kua an chladig, the loneliness of the strand. Tuar is anch siúl an chladig nán nán tra in a vestu siúl an latín. Tuas mais an gomhnaigh. Cás ar aíodh imlach bíonn an dáhil. Sin é bíonn an dáhil, an dáhil vai héilí an siúl sí agus an siúl leat. Nár tá tú iríobh is a chladig na gheoirí. Tá an aríodh aisti chomar gur. Tá an aríodh cludig suas. Cá hór tá hár dárlín. If you would ever walk on the shore alone, whether the tide is in or out, whether it's late or early, there is, a, there is always there's, there's always a sense of, of loneliness there, as if you're not alone, although you're there on your own, but there was something spiritual telling you that um, you're not there alone. As children, we were always told not to be in the shore on your own. But that was late or early. That's why that the older people always looked out for you if you were in the shore. They would always keep an eye out. Didn't matter where the tide was, whether it was in close or out far, they were always told, don't be in the shore on your own. Owen O'Corrine gives me three superstitions of local fishermen in Teelan. A new boat should never be put to sea on a Friday for the first time. A woman shouldn't brush or wash her hair until her husband is back safely from the ocean. And fresh fish should never be taken out of a house after nightfall. One more. The first time you put a new net into the water, or even an old net at the beginning of the season, you have to swallow back a sip of pochine.
The modern podrick is a hard thing to describe. It's somewhere between a prayer and a pishrogue, or a mantra, or really a collection of sounds that exert an influence on the world around them. It's a special prayer that the fishermen used. They used to, I think, wrap it up with a little bit of plastic, right. and they'd bring it with them when they were fishing. Right. But they'd recite the prayer, and if you went astray in the words of the prayer, because um, you'd have to start again at the beginning and say it again, yeah. uh, without fault. Yeah. But the, the, the language of the prayer itself, it must be, it must be the old Irish because even modern fluent Irish speakers, they wouldn't understand all of... The original. The original, yeah. But the fact that you had to say it correctly meant that it was not just the meaning, that it was like the words themselves, right? Yeah. Wasn't it, Boric, yeah. Without a break. Yeah. You had to say it without a break or without making a, a mistake. And if you did, you'd have to start again. Right. You'd have to say that um, it, wouldn't, it wasn't going to be a success, what you were praying for. Martin Farik, Virulche, Virulche, Clinic Leifer, Sand Farcher, Fairless, Sign in Sigilsha, Chica Burby in Glass, Cahuna Grene, Greg Gille, Chica Such, Slochiene, Mrs. Finnis, Adam Glass, Banner. Jess Nachman and doing, Ruin Kredjin, in the Sigi Grey Harlow, no Ruik Riva Hanning, Banach Lagahanam of Vigar Panya, Spanach Lagachnach, Dadamar Niege, Sniak as a year of Nisnaji, for Plash Kabanawene, and Karpnagarp, Shan Huchafele, King Artur, Multifam Fee, Farchafele, she shown away Krieg and the Hroig and the Swagam Shinanisha, Gainak Brach, and I Kelchiri. He did a more in Gain Yak Brach, one on the Haitian, but was good though, a Jerlash of his Yagan. He did a more in Dolge Huge, New Wildo, and Hal Hashkios was a Jerm Warren Gulgahan, Lee Rochakli Hashkios, which a body. He did a more in Galer thing in Alfarica, or just long sour chicken bowling in Arachus. He did a more in Brava Lodge, who wore a Kim Shane, his kind of wolf. He did a more in Gavan and Yavan, which is long banned the Sukhjuna Seer. I will wear a chin real to swag of Shinanisha Gainak Brach, Snakel Shriek, a German warring in Ursula, near real doefsions for flies chill a folly, will tell the gum the Hastal, near by Bissagora, Mishaporic Banna Yasbuk Shrian Rialta, and a cohesion go memo milton, go warring father Fishner, the Slory, the Slark Leobedowan, in a Yacht and Yahis Gilsha, Nakhlechir Machlin's boss, and Lee Gierna with Shingichi, Jernanus of Gurp, Mena Girna. Marshin Shine Machidsha Gafoil, Bavalim Buechas Gavoil, Brian Maglin, Agus Claire Sands, a hum Kyol, who recorded and created music specifically for each word, as well as recording the Fuin the Fadiga, the sounds of the sea. Thanks also Gagaila Fihe Fihe, Agus Gafela Podrick. And the coastal images were all filmed by Miles O'Reilly and Lauren Varian, who also edited this film. Hasulgum Gumwinchiv Tanev, Agus Tideva. There are scores more of these words on Moncon.com as well as on Instagram and Twitter at Moncon McGann. Banachti Fedeforig Oriv Gilead. <laughs>